Hi everybody, it's Jim. I'm back to uh, do another activity with you. Today, we're going to make a walking toy. It'll be a little toy that you guys can play with that looks like it's kind of walking. And I'm gonna show you some of the materials and the uh, tools, and then we'll get together and we'll make it. All right, let's get started. Two. All right, first thing we're gonna do is show you the materials we'll need. Uh, we'll need some markers so you can color things in, make them look beautiful. And we're gonna need this. This is uh, like a shish kebab stick. A lot of these sticks might be thinner, might be thicker, but they have usually points on the end. We don't wanna get hurt with the point. So we have these other tools. A pumpkin saw, scissors, and a pair of pliers. Pumpkin saw might be able to do it, but it'll take a little bit and a little work to get that in. The scissors won't be able to do it because they're not made to cut wood. The scissors we'll use later for uh, cutting up some cardboard or paper. So the last tool I have out is called a pair of pliers. You may or may not have them at home. But a pair of pliers have this little kind of crusher right in at the very bottom there. So what I would like what I'm planning on doing is putting the pointy part into the crusher part and then squeezing. And it crushes the pointy part right off. And you can see it's not pointy anymore. We'll use this piece later, and now it's pretty safe, so we don't have to worry about it. You'll need a straw, and the straw will cut in half later with scissors, which can happen. Uh, I already told you about the aluminum foil. You need a roll of duct tape, because that's gonna be the part of the machinery that makes the walking toy. Here's a piece of cardboard that I got from one of the lots of boxes that we're getting nowadays. But if you don't have a box, you can use a piece of paper for what we're gonna do. Piece of paper, box, whatever you think or whatever you have. All right, so that's all the pieces, all the tools, and now we're going to start putting it all together. So the first part we're going to build is the roller part, the part that rolls across the floor and makes the feet work or the hands and what we need is we now have our stick that isn't pointy anymore and we're gonna find out about where the middle is and if we're strong enough we can break it so I was kind of strong enough and I broke it if you're not strong enough, then maybe you can use the pliers to break it. But there we go, two pieces. And we're gonna use a little of this tape. I'm gonna use, pull a little bit up, put a little snip in it, because that helps cut it. And then we'll just rip it off. Take one stick put it on the bottom and really make it stick, stick, stick. So then you have a little piece on the bottom, see? Now, take the other stick, roll this part up so it's on the top, and then add this part this way. Make sure that both sticks are pointing in different directions and one is on the top, one is on the bottom. We need a little piece of tape like we did before. Make a little snip in it, because duct tape's hard to cut. A little snip, and then you can rip it. And make sure this one's on top. Put this one on the bottom. Add your tape. On the bottom, it's tricky, 
but we I know we can do it. We just have to always take some time. Now, there it is. One on the top, one on the bottom. Now, we're going to get the fun part of our toy made. So, part of the fun of our rolling walker is to add some feet to our rolling walker so that it looks like feet are walking. The trouble I have is that my feet are too big. They are too big to fit on this. So, I'm going to use my hand. So, when my rolling walker works, it'll look like a baby. But your rolling walker can have your own feet because I think your feet are smaller than mine. What you do is, if you don't have cardboard, you can use paper. I'm going to use cardboard. And I put one hand down and I draw around it. If, if you're having trouble, maybe have your mom or dad do that. There's one hand. Now, this is the tricky part for me, put down your other hand. It'll be easier to draw around your feet. But uh, here's my other hand. And make sure that if you use your feet, use both feet. That way, it'll look like a walking toy. So, there we go. And I'm going to start cutting them out. You don't have to watch me cutting it out. Come back in a little bit. All right, bye-bye. All right, I cut out my hands. Here's the pieces with these scissors. Now, you might want to decorate your hands or your feet. Give them like little fingernails. You might want to polish your fingernails. Ooh, very beautiful. Or you might want to color your whole hand in. I don't know. Use your imagination. All right, so we have our hands or our feet. And we want to put them upside down on our table. We'll take a straw and figure out kind of where the half is. I think that's about half. So I'll cut it in half. Now here comes the tricky part. We don't, we want a little of the stick showing through. So I'm gonna put this straw on top and I'll say, oh, I want about that much stick and then I'll squeeze the scissors and I will cut right there. Then there should be a little bit of stick showing. There you go. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on the end because the stick will fall off if the, uh, if there isn't something that makes it stay right there. So see, now the stick can twirl, the straw can twirl, but it won't slip off. We don't want it to slip off. We'll do the same with the other. All right, and so we want it to be a little shorter than the stick. We'll go like that, and that's about where I want it. I'll put a little mark there, and then, boom, put it on, and put some tape around the edge there. Don't tape the straw. That's the tricky part. Don't put any tape on the straw, because that'll make it stop from spinning. And we want to make sure that it spins, so try and spin it a little on your with your hands okay so these both seem to spin and now we want to tape this to the straw part to the upper part of the hand 
about there. You want it kind of high. And we'll use this tape off this reel here. And we'll take one piece off and another piece off because we're going to do this twice. Maybe we'll put it on the scissors so it has a place to stay. And we'll put this up kind of high. And we want to make sure that there's some room there. We'll put it down and there we go. We want to do the same for this. I want to put it so that it's not so close to the the tape but not too far either and then make sure that there's a little space at the end. Now all done we'll pull this up and now we should have a toy a walking toy. Up and down, along we go. Whoa! All right, so that's our walking toy. I hope you have fun making it and then playing with it.